30 years ago today, Brixton saw a series of riots that changed London forever. They began after police stopped and searched hundreds of people in the area. Angry local youth took to the streets and three days of disturbances ensued. Our special correspondent, Kurt Barling, has been talking to three eyewitnesses of those dramatic events. The early 80s, austerity, political change, confrontation. On April the 11th, 1981, Brixton became the epicentre of a community relations earthquake. The backdrop, worsening relations between the police and black youth. Racism was compulsory in the police. It wasn't institutionalised. If you weren't a racist, you weren't going to get on. Now, the SAS law was the Vagrancy Act of 1829, which we, the cops, used to our own ends to basically fit up and brutalise people that we didn't like. We just got to a stage where we got without any hope. And when you have no hope, you're going to react and you're not going to care about the consequences. Because we felt we're going to get arrested and beaten up anyway, so we might as well try and get our revenge in first. One of the first journalists on the ground was Radio London presenter Alex Pascal. Well known in Brixton, the rage took him by surprise. I saw these guys take the naked hand. And God, I've never seen rage like that in my life. They were vexed. They had bricks behind there. No matter what the establishment came with, the vexation in those guys would have taken on anybody. For a 21-year-old Peter Blexley, the experience quickly turned into a terrifying one. I was in a, a, a green people carrier, a transit van with seats and windows. A lot of those windows pretty rapidly disappeared as things got slung at us. The noise inside the van was unbelievable and it was quite terrifying. And at some points we thought, we're going to have to fight for our lives here. Police black community relations weren't the only casualty that day. A stark generational rift also became clear. There's a crowd of people around an elderly man, Rennie Webb, who used to run the Brixton Neighbourhood Centre close to here and they turned on him, younger blacks, and they call him a spy, and Rini Webb cried. For the first time, we were actually taken notice of by the wider world. People started to question the police's um, activities in places like Brixton. Maybe we were worth listening to of our um, sighting of police violence. Lord Scarman's inquiry into the events forced the pace of policing change and accountability. Well, for me, the biggest positive to come out of the, the riots was that uh, Lord Scarman, his report added some weight to the call for new legislation. And then the Police and Criminal Evidence Act of 1984 was eventually enacted. Policing by consent became the watchword for transforming relations between the police and the communities they served. Kurt Barling, BBC London News. Some, uh...